The Sisters Grimm podcast is intended for mature audiences only. Please, listen at your own discretion. Hello, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, Morgan and I were testing before and we were doing a bit. So yeah, that doesn't track. But anyways... Hey everybody, it's the Sisters Grimm <laughs> Podcast, a.k.a. Holly and Morgan, a.k.a. Welcome back. Welcome. It's been a month, and now this month is spooky October. It is October, so we have to at least get one episode out for Halloween. I mean, it's, we're running towards the, the end, so. Yeah, we are at the, so we are in the last week. It is exactly a week for until Halloween, so maybe we'll try to get another episode out. Which means two weeks until the new season of Dexter. Whoa. So yeah, we're back. Um, we, we have a little housekeeping to do. Definitely. Speaking of housekeeping, I got a job as a housekeeper at a hotel. Yeah, Holly <laughs> is doing that. I've got a new job uh, working. I work in the medical field. Found out the building is too new to be haunted. That's great. I thought that was a bummer. Also, I started a new podcast. And it's called Movies, Am I Right? And it's me just reviewing new movies that come out. And Holly was actually on my latest episode as a guest. And we talked about Dune. Because I'm a dork. Speaking of parts of housekeeping, I did do an entire like review of Halloween Kills. But we need to talk about it here. We are going to talk about it. Yes, this episode is called um, probably... <laughs> Uh, we'll see. <laughs> um, Halloween movie, like Halloween. We watched these Halloween movies, so you didn't have to. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about some stinkers because our f- first Halloween episode was Halloween movies that are not the movie Halloween, but which we time- changed. We picked like ones that we actually probably really like. Yeah, yeah. and um, it was the first year, and it probably was kind of all over the place and not great. And not last- saying this is. not I don't know what we did the year after that, but I know last year we did. 31 on 31 ranking of Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Halloween movies, which now there are 32. Yep, and we watched it, and it is not good. We actually good. just finished it. I, it is I bad in a whole ago, new way. But Holly had just seen it. Yeah, give what are your thoughts? Because we haven't talked about it as we literally just finished watching it. Um, hate the fact that Judy Greer's wearing a Christmas sweater the whole time. Whole time. Confused by that. For Don't sure. get that. Um, I think Anthony Michael Hall. Is a little too much amped up. Yeah, he's chewing the scenery mm-hmm. um, in a way that Tommy, I don't think, would. No, Tommy was very like he was Paul Rudd. <laughs> right. Yeah, we've gotten much better Tommies other than Anthony Michael Hall, and I think Paul Rudd. That was Paul Rudd's first role, and it was not Anthony Michael Hall, so he <laughs> should be ashamed of himself. <laughs> um. So yeah, I mean. It, it was, yeah, it was gross. I couldn't watch a yeah. lot of scenes. I mean, it's Halloween kills, it so it's definitely mostly focused on kills and not quite enough focused on the story. It did not need story. to be 140 minutes. I mean, it didn't need to be like an hour and 40 minutes long. There were yeah. so many scenes that like, even if they'd just taken a couple seconds off mm-hmm. at the end, it would have been a tight If they had night. taken the entire wrong guy scene out, it would have been just as like, compelling of a movie if not a little bit to more to the point that i'm wondering did well no i'm one well no um i loved the 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 um the flashback stuff to 78 though i actually really liked i that. did like i liked that too um i liked the um cgi work they did for dr loomis oh my god yeah donald pleasant mm-hmm. that was actually very good yeah agreed. it looked it looked very natural but so in this movie, spoiler alerts, we're going to talk about it, obviously, but spoiler Michael alerts. is like, like we've talked about it on this podcast before, Michael has to be some sort of supernatural being. Yeah, he's not he like a real person. He kills, he is such a jerk. In the beginning, <laughs> in the beginning, he is in a burning building. Firefighters are coming in to save him, presumably. Yeah, he kills essential workers. And he kills... Essential workers. Yeah, you can't be doing that in this in this. He climate, literally Michael. kills the entire Haddonfield Police Department. Fire department. Fire department. Yeah, in the first five the, minutes of the film. Yes, and it and then he goes on to kill um a gorgeous biracial older biracial couple, and then he goes on to kill a 
a gay couple like it's like okay yeah, it's quite a uh, children like they oh, really yeah, were kids. like let's kill just everybody in this that's gonna like make people sad <laughs> yeah and, and i actually the, didn't really notice that quite as much as, until you're saying it now and i agree yeah that yeah. it's kind of mm-hmm. problematic a little bit um, well not problematic but it's just like okay why yeah. do we gotta yeah and um i don't know it's it's like it's like being um what's the phrase it's trying to be, like, woke to the point of problematic. Yeah, it's like, okay, you can put these relationships in there, but, like, don't have them. They don't murder. Yeah. Yeah. So, so brutally. So brutally. And, like, their character's not actually developed. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um, I think there was a lot of that where it's just, like, we didn't need all of this. Like, I, I've heard some people talk about, like, being like, oh, I'm kind of glad I didn't totally focus on, like, the Strode family, but I'm not. Like, I definitely could have watched more of the daughter be a badass, especially with the kid who plays Theo and you, which should we transition to you? I mean, I'm fine with, uh, yeah, we, so you, I mean, I don't know if we've ever talked about you on the podcast before. I'm sure we have because I mean, it, it really, it, it is a drama, but it is turned into true crime because he is a serial killer for all intents and purposes and, and is love. Yeah, his his mar- his married to a serial um, killer now. So excited to wa- was so excited to watch this, mm-hmm. and <clears throat> it was just really good. I it when I was watching it, it just I just was very excited because it's exciting trying to like figure out a puzzle and like being like, ooh, what did that mean? Ooh, what is that? And I don't know. The characters in you are just always really like the side characters the, that they pick. The are writing always... is really good about um, like making characters who seem really awful, but then like showing that like even really pe- like awful people that you think are like the worst do have some pretty redeemable traits. AKA Sherry and Carrie, yeah. who I hated. Well, because it's kind of like Until juxtaposition the of Joe, whereas Joe seems like this perfect, like wonderful dude when really he's a serial killer. And all and these Joe other people do is just, like, guy. be annoying and kind of, like, clout-thirsty, you know? Right. Also, do you think they were trying to make him look a little more like Ted Bundy this season? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I definitely got that. And him and um, the actress, Victoria Pederetti. Is that how you say her last name? Pederetti? Peretti? Peretti? The girl who plays Love. They did, oh. like, a really old, like, 70s-looking... Uh, I forget what magazine it was for, but they did a really cool photo shoot. And it was very, like, Ted Bundy and, you know, his... Long, straight-haired wife. <laughs> that's weird. Um, but, yeah, I don't want to give any spoilers on that, no, obviously, because really not everyone's good. seen it, and it's it's so good. It's better than fucking Halloween Kills. Time Death. to kill. I, I, so. I honestly probably will rewatch it again. I might rewatch the entire series again, because I am, like, definitely really into that show. Well, I am so horny for Penn Badgley. It's <laughs> insane. So I will definitely watch the whole thing. So, sticking on that... Uh, in the Netflix family. Oh, yeah. Fucking Squid, Squid Game. Game. We would be so remiss if we did not talk about Yeah, we've about been gone Squid for too long. Too much good shit has come out. Squid Game happened in all this time. Oh, my God. <sighs> so amazing. I have seen it like five times all the way through. The normal American hasn't. <laughs> Probably. Because <laughs> I haven't. Well, I just know it from you. <laughs> so, when you watch Squid Game as an English speaker, make sure that your subtitles are... English subtitles and not English closed captioning subtitles. Also, just um, subtitle people, they they need more funding. (laughs) Like, the reason it's bad is because this episode is dedicated to the people who write subtitles. Exactly. And, like, they just need, need more help with that. But, I mean... It's such a cool idea. He got, like, bits of... uh, So, like, if you haven't heard of it, it is a kind of like Battle Royale-esque type. People who are, like, in deep debt go and they play in these games. And they're, like, children's games. Like, popular Korean children's. Traditional Korean children's games. But they do try to Americanize them a little bit since... They yeah, changed I mean, the first Red game. Like Green Light is definitely something that I played as a child. Um, but it's a tug it's of war. Mokawa, obviously, their version is just different. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I do. And I, more yeah. pretty. It's and prettier pretty. than Red Light pretty. Grid Light. Like a little cute little. Speaking song. of pretty, Mokawa, everyone in that show is beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Like, uh, everyone is everyone so, except for the Americans. <laughs> except, I was reading something. So you know the like main bad guy like the ma- the gross american who like tries to basically rape yeah yeah um he was actually an actor living in south korea korea hmm. 
did not have any money. He has a little son who um, I think is like half um, Korean, half um, American. Mm -hmm. And he had worked in some other things and he tried out and the director was like, oh yeah, I liked you. And, and now he like has so much money and he can do stuff now. Because, like, he was not, like, he couldn't even, like, go home to America. He didn't even have enough money to, like, oh, go back sad. to America. He's, like, an older guy for sure. Mm -hmm. Wow. I feel so, bad yeah. about saying he wasn't cute. He was. Well, I mean, I, his character wasn't. He was, <laughs> he is brave. I will just say that. He was a brave man. Because he, I mean, to get naked on screen. Yeah. Oh, period. Yeah, for sure. Is like, oh, it's he a probably brave got thing. paid a lot more than the other actors for that reason. Maybe. I mean, Definitely. he, and he also was, I mean, that. The, I mean, people have a lot of mixed response. Uh, well, no, it generally seems like people don't like the American VIPs, even though yeah. no, they're not all American. I'm pretty sure but they're is. also not written to be great people. They're not supposed to be great people, and they're not supposed to be that interesting because they are so bored with their life that they have to watch other people die. Yeah. So I thought they were exactly. I thought what they, they needed to be exactly. Yeah, I don't think that we needed any more or less of them. Honestly. They were just them there, knowing that all of this is being done at the expense or well for the enjoyment of you know mm -hmm. other people kind of that hunger was games enough. like definitely has some hunger games vibes yeah except um this the only difference with this would be uh free choice yeah that's true um but um but yeah he was the guy was gonna make it a long time ago and then didn't and he made it now and it's the number like the number one show in the fucking world yeah which is amazing and we and loved it, it and it was so good and i love that it is um just teaching people more about other countries oh yeah definitely even though this is just south korea i think it opens up like the possibility for like other countries tv shows to do super duper mm -hmm. well and something interesting yeah, it's still number two and it's been out for like a month and it's only if not longer it's only number two because everyone was so excited to see you yeah for sure and, and you just so, came out and you not and I, even a week ago yeah and so that is the only reason it is no, still number two because it is still a big deal and like however many million like it's crazy to think like that many like uh, accounts watched it, but then think of like how many people on that account watched it. You know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Oh yeah, for sure. So like, I don't know. It was just yeah, I wonder how they calculate such that. a huge phenomenon. I was also reading about um, Emmys, mm -hmm. and so because <gasps> wow. it is a Netflix show, it could be up for oh yeah, Why like it be? in the prime time. But well, it at, at any rate, it, it could have been up for like international film mm. but yeah, that Netflix, those aren't yeah. on tv but because of the rules stipulating that um i think like the production company or like it has to be produced by an american company which netflix is mm -hmm. i definitely think that they should oh they're probably gonna win like best it'll dramatic series be I a bet big anything deal they win that and i and it'll be a big deal and it'll be really cool yeah and I, they all deserve it so yeah. much they're all they just all seem so like very sweet mm -hmm. and very is very like humble and okay, very... Holly's very obsessed with them right now, so maybe we should move on to the actual podcast. We haven't even talked about Gongwo and how much we love him. We do guy from him. Train Train to Busan. Oh yeah, the guy from Train to Busan. Oh, um, an amazing horror movie to awesome. watch right now. So I'm going to talk while well, we're still doing a little bit of housekeeping. Okay. I'm just going to mention only murders in the building. Binged watch the show with my dad. He loves it because it's uh, it's Steve Martin and Martin Short and with a little bit of sassy Selena Gomez in there just right. to make it fun. It is and for the kids. so, so fucking funny. And so it's them and someone, they're all obsessed with the podcast and they, they're, as a fire alarm goes off and so everyone from the building is like at this like local cafe, but it like... It showed, like, everyone, like, listening to the podcast in their houses and, like, what different people do when they, like, oh, are listening fun. to podcasts. Like, like someone was, like, you know, just having a glass of wine and someone, I think, was, like, knitting or something. Okay. Or, you know, just, like, you know. Yeah, different things people do and while so they podcast. And so then they all come together and then they were listening to it and they, like, started talking to each other. And Tina Fey is in it and she plays... Um, like basically Sarah Canning from Serial. She's basically like oh, that. And it's cool. so funny. And so then someone dies in their building and so they all decide to make a podcast about it. And it's really, really good. It's so funny. I mean, it's Steve Martin mm -hmm. and Martin Short. 
That's a so funny obviously idea, it's going to be funny, but there's just so there's just so many really funny parts. Like uh, just out of context, this will be there's this kid and they're like, "Oh my god, it's She's like, "Are you tie-dye guy?" and he's like, "I'm trying to be." <laughs> <laughs> um so, let's uh get into. We're going to talk, well, so we were going to talk about like shitty Halloween horror movies, but, we but found... we're also going to talk about what well, we've. I found that Morgan is not willing to watch shitty horror really Halloween not. movies. Well, not just like all, absolutely awful ones. Like, I'm sorry, Holly's trying to go into the depths of Tubi, and if you know about Tubi and you know about the just amount of content that's on there, like I could probably pick but my you nose could find looking at a camera, gems. and they would put it on Tubi. But you can find some gems. Sure. Like I won't talk about it, but I found a really good. <laughs> thriller but it was so bad with yeah. uh colin firth and nicole kidman and it was very bad but i won't talk about it on this podcast also it's like big raining outside so big raining big raining and like big raining big in tree river sounds. city so you might hear that big tree sounds <laughs> that's what they call it in lord of the rings nice <laughs> when okay, the orcs so. are coming big tree sounds should we start with the one that we literally watched last night um, yeah, do we want to watch the ones that we watched together? Because I sure. watched a couple separately. Same. Uh, yeah, no, we, so obviously we just watched Halloween Kills. We, and it I was think, bad. I think we can both <laughs> agree that it's not like the best Halloween taking place movie. No, uh, but I could talked about that, tell so. you. Yeah, so last night Holly and I both had never seen or even knew anything about this movie. And it's called... The Houses That October Built. Wait, hold on. Can we talk about, like, the three other movies that we started to watch before we finally Dude. decided to watch that one? Uh, we started watching Halloween. We watched about ten, not even ten minutes, and it was so bad we had to shut it off. It is about two s- brothers. One of them is Simon Rex. Oh, they and, were brothers? I just yeah. thought they were, like, friends. And they're going to their dad's execution. And honestly, that's really all we're going to talk about. It was <laughs> and that the was worst thing not I've ever seen. Good. And I feel like we started watching another one and turned it off, too. Or at least we watched. We did. We started watching. Oh, what was it? Oh, what was it? It what was another was found. F- no, was it found? Another it was found just footage? really bad. Or was it a movie trailer? And I turned off the trailer. No, we definitely did start watching something else. And you were like, I don't want to watch this. And I was like, me either. And so then we started watching The Houses That October Built. Yeah. And so I had not... It was I'd nothing it. it was nothing what, what I, I thought, thought it was going to no be. No idea it was going to be found footage. No. And I had no idea that... I can get down with a bad fed found footage movie. Yeah, no. I mean, it was definitely... It was very interesting. And then it was interesting to read that they made a documentary two years before that was literally the same exact thing, except it yeah. just didn't have a the plot of like actual danger yeah. coming for them and the plot it was a little bit it gave me a little bit um mccainy man mccainy manor well yeah so like like hauntings but it also kind of gave me like megan is missing vibes a little bit which is, it's yucky that's it's, why it's not fun it's definitely like that it, kind of found footage that makes you feel really uncomfortable and it was i think it was actually done really well i just i kind of wish i had liked the characters a little bit more um, because they just like I liked the girl, but like only a little. Yeah, I mean it was just kind of meh. There's a second one too. We didn't watch. We that. did not watch the second one though. If we're being honest, like I'll probably watch it. <laughs> like, it honestly, bored, it like, didn't look like something. absolute total no, trash. No, yeah, I'm kind of surprised that it got a sequel, but there it is. I mean, found footage are usually going to uh, are yeah. going to do that. Just look at the Paranormal Activity series. Which, they have, which a new one is coming out I was soon. just yeah. going to say, has anyone picked that up? Mm-hmm. And t- dusted that yeah. off yet? Uh, I forget what it's called. But I was actually, I will say, I was watching the trailer not knowing it was a paranormal activity movie thinking, oh, I'd like to see this. It's so. called Paranormal Activity. Sorry. It's called, <laughs> here, you keep talking and I'll look up what it's called. Um, yeah. I think it's going straight on to like Peacock or something. Of course. Well, everything is going straight on to everything. Hell Spe- yeah. Like, um, so uh, while Morgan's looking that up, I'm going to just really quick talk about a couple really bad horror movies that I watched. Wait, what was I looking at? <laughs> now, it's bad that you don't remember, but I also don't remember. Was it something about the house? Oh, it was the new Paranormal Activity right. movie. Sorry, guys. It's, it'd be like that. Listeners are screaming at us. Um, so, there is this movie on Tubi, and it's called Ring Ring. 
and they say it takes place on Halloween, and I guess I believe them. But it was so bad. And, like, someone, like, is smoking Oxycontin in there, and I had to, like, Google if, like, you can smoke Oxycontin, and you can. Really quick, it's Paranormal Activity Next of Kin, and it's coming on Paramount Plus the 29th, so next next week. Love that. Um, so, I also, so, I like, I love the title of the ho- of the house's October built because yeah. of like it's like talking about like uh, because of Halloween there's all of these haunt- like haunted houses so all of these big houses mm-hmm. it's a big big house with creepy Were you creepy talking rooms. about a different show? <laughs> well, I was going to start talking about this haunted house movie I watched oh, cool. called uh, House of Purgatory mm. which is you're rewarded for like every floor but instead of going up you go what down. are you rewarded with <laughs> well here's the that's thing. scarier to go down to be honest i know at first i was like oh that is actually scary like to go down because they get there and it's just like a fucking shed and they're like whoa most of the, the characters are horrible but they're like most of and oh the dialogue is also super fucking problematic <laughs> oh, um man. and but like they were like whoa, must have a hell of a basement and it's like well, yeah, and so, like, the whole point of this thing is to be, like, getting your money back after, ever, like, you pay a bunch of money in the beginning, and then you get it back. If you get back. through the whole thing, you get your money back. But for some dumbass reason, on Halloween, it's free. You'd think that that would be one of the one nights that it would cost money, you'd think. They were also the only people there, and it's also sketchy as fuck, and they, like, die. So, <laughs> so it's not actually made to get out, then. It's made to die. They're made to die, but it kind of reminded me of made to die. Baskin because Baskin, it's a, that Turkish horror film. It's very much like these people just keep going deeper into the house. It's kind yeah. of like as above, so pull up. Yeah, so they're pull going up. deeper into like the catacombs. <laughs> well, it's like you're going deeper into hell. Going deeper is just scary. It's like a uh, like the descent, like anything like that, where like you're going like put me up high. I don't care. Yeah, at least then I can, can have the choice everything. of jumping if I need to. Yeah, we only know so much of what's underground. And I'm scared. And I don't like the dark. No, no. Yeah, uh, being underground. Who boy? Who boy? Oh, in the house, <laughs> in that movie. Which one? The house is on house, cover built. They all got buried alive, and it's like maybe like three guys and a girl the guys are all buried in these very nice caskets with pillows and that are like lined with satin she is in just a wooden box with a dead dog (laughs) it's like um well they really we're really jumping around well i just wanted to mention that okay so i also uh i watched this uh, halloween movie and it's called i am zozo and apparently zozo is like the most common um spirit that when people play the Ouija board, like, hmm. will come up. Also... Never heard of it. I don't know if we've ever talked about this on the podcast, but, like, how are Ouija boards marketed as board games? Like, how know. do you it's win? It's a board. How do you win? I how do you, you have win? to win in board games for it to be a game. But, like... You win knowledge. What is the... What are you winning the fact that you don't get possessed? Yeah, I would say that's a big win. Yeah. Um, and then I also watched this movie called Bad Apples, and it was not good. And it starts out with a pregnant woman getting stabbed in the stomach a lot, and then she's just, like, lying on the floor in the kitchen, and somehow gives birth to perfectly healthy twins. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, I watched a movie that I've, like, wanted to click on before, but just never have, and it's a Netflix movie, even though I will say when I, like like talked into my Apple TV for it to bring me there. It tried making me rent it. And I was like, girl, I know it's on Netflix. I'm talking about Hellfest. Yeah. Very good movie. Um, well, I mean, it's okay. Again. So I like, also might be getting it confused with another movie. So it's basically about this like group of five friends and they, and they all are <laughs> all of those movies. It's a group yeah. of five friends and they go to a haunted house. Five or six. I think five. Six. There's, like, six people. Okay. So, anyways, they go to this, like, haunted house, or this, like, it's not even a haunted house. It's kind of, like, it almost is, like, a a music festival, but for haunted houses. So, kind of, like, universal, but, like, not, like, full-on, like, rides like that. More just, like, a lot of haunted houses. But, anyways, there's this guy who comes in, and he, like, just, like, finds someone that he decides to fuck with at these kind of things, and he kills them, and he makes it look like it's part of, like, the scare, and... 
it's really crazy and like total uh you know yeah it's a spoiler alert it ends with like the guy who did it all goes to his house and he goes to his garage and he takes the mask off that he's been wearing puts it in this locked cabinet where he has a bunch of other masks that he does this in and then he goes inside and you see like a little girl sleeping on the couch and she's like daddy you're home so it's just yeah. like some ass dude. It's just some ass dude, man. Yeah, that one was wild, but like I, I really thought I was gonna be like, oh, this sucks, but I was honestly like, <laughs> okay, man. It was br- it was gruesome too. Um, that kind of reminds me of this horror movie on Hulu. Uh, it's called The Body, and it's I don't know if we've talked about this. Is but it about Halloween? Yes, it takes place on Halloween. Whoa. Um, and it's so there's like Bloomhouse into the Dark mm-hmm. movies, and they usually. They started out at least um, very holiday themed serial killer, and he's just dressed like himself, but he's like wearing a really nice suit, and he's just carrying around this like body bag, mm. and people just like think you know it's just part of his costume, and then he's like hanging out at this party, and a bunch of people open the bag and realize it's not part of the costume. It's a really good movie. It's been a little while since I've seen it. There's also but I would definitely watch it. It's I will say that a lot of those. Um, into the dark um, films are not are like unjustly rated on uh, like IMDb poor Port- yeah and on Rotten Tomatoes but we've already said how um, we don't really subscribe to Rotten Tomatoes yeah. right um, there was also a movie we watched a little bit ago that actually someone so I'm in this writing workshop group with a bunch of people online and one of the guys who's in my workshop he wrote this movie that's on Shutter called Attack of the Demons and it's like a, an animated horror movie that takes place in 1994 and it's basically like about these like three people and like there's this crazy like demons that are mutating that take over this like town in Colorado. And so they basically are trying to like survive, but also like fix the town. Um, and that one, that one's not bad. I would actually say that's pretty good. And I had a lot of fun watching it. There is this movie. Um, I guess we can talk about some like good. Well, yeah. Ones. Cause there's definitely ones I have seen that I had not seen back in 2017 when we started this podcast. Right. So, there oh, yeah, is the Terrifier movie. Yeah, I don't think I'd seen Terrifier. No, I definitely then. hadn't. And that movie is fucking dude. Creepy. Let's talk about Terrifier really quick. Oh my god, he's so ta- the scariest, clown. the grossest, the grossest clown. He Again, just like my worst fear realized. He poops just like like one of the yeah. big scenes is just like that he destroys the bathroom with his shit. And then he literally it's the pussy cutting scene for me. It, it's the bone tomahawk. Is that what that's called? <laughs> no, but if something like that happens in the movie. Bone it's the tomahawk. It's splitting her from pussy to mouth for me. It's starting at the pussy for me. Yeah, it's starting at it's the pussy the for me. It's the starting as well. at the pussy for me. Yeah, trigger warning about that movie. Um, if you don't want to watch someone get literally also, cut open pussy first, don't watch that. The movie has like an unofficial prequel called All Hallows Eve, right. which has its own sequel that Art the Clown is not in. But it is um, t- uh, teacher babysitter, and she's babysitting this kid, and they're watching this VHS tape, and it's just really like not even like a it's like found footage, and it's just of Art doing really mm. random creepy shit. Yeah, and then eventually, I think like, there's a new Terrifier movie coming out soon. It's, right? They're supposed to be because yeah. I think the um, I was watching I think an Angela with from the, with, Girl with the guy who put Angela Girl, Angela from Sleepaway Camp. I She's gonna be in it. it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I, I was watching an interview with the guy who made the movie, and then the guy who plays Art, and they were talking kind of about it. Um. Oh, I will Probably say next Halloween. I'm guessing. Um, I was on. Uh, I was on Tubi and uh, was super duper high and for about five minutes watched one of those like jack o lantern on the screens. You know how like for Christmas time you mm, can just have mm-hmm. <laughs> before realizing it was not a real movie. <laughs> oh, I love putting like vibey stuff like that on. Like I, I go to YouTube and like I look up like spooky Halloween eight hours and it'll just be like a spooky witchy looking town for eight hours that I just will have on my TV while I do shit. Because I like um, to waste my energy bill. Right. Um, there is this great horror movie. I am trying to find it because I cannot think of what it is called. And it's on Shudder. Y'all ever seen Hocus Pocus? And- <laughs> Shut up. 
shut up. I know we have seen, we have talked about Y'all ever that. seen Halloween we Town? We definitely talked about Halloween Town. Um, Y'all ever seen I Under Wraps? Think of what it's called. Do you have the Shutter app on your phone? I don't. That sucks. Okay, well. Shutter's I mean, a great place for horror movies, guys. It's the best place. Oh, also just a shout out my podcast really quick. I think it's called VHS. Okay. I did an entire episode about the best spooky, scary horror movies on every streaming app. So go listen to that episode for this last week of October if you want to watch some scary stuff. Even though I will say the streaming apps are out here on absolute fire, throwing out new shit all the time. So like a bunch of new shit has come out even since I put that episode out like two weeks ago. So go off for that streaming services. It was not VHS. But oh, it's like the W something something Halloween special and it's it's really funny and it's um and it's like if you were watching TV like you're, and uh like the news was going to go into this creepy haunted house and like mm. so every commercial of the show you're watching like they do a little promo for it and like they have like these exorcists going in there and it's funny it's supposed to be very funny it's okay. not supposed to, I mean there are parts that are like kind of scary. I really wish I could think of what it was called, but um, uh, let's see if I can. Look but you guys it. like listening to just dead air, right? You guys <laughs> love to just listen to us typing on our phones, um, <laughs> looking up a movie on Shutter. When I mean, I think all of if you guys are listening to our podcast, then you would also probably love. I mean, adore Shudder. Oh, okay. It's called WNUF Halloween Special. Cool. And it's uh, it's really, really funny. There's also this really funny movie called Monster Party. There's two different Monster Party movies. The old one, it looks like this dude, he's dressed really like a knight or something. Mm-hmm. But um, it's like these people and they have, it's just like these really avant-garde arty people in like this like warehouse having a party. And um, it's just cool, man. It's just cool, man. Should we talk about, like, I don't know, maybe, like, coolest Halloween costumes that people wear in movies and TV shows? I'm not prepared for that. Well, well just think of them off the top of your little head. I'm sure you can. Um, so for me... Like, I love the, like, classic, like, very, very, uh, what word am I trying to think of? Versatile, like, witch costume that Thora Birch wears. Oh, Hocus that's, like, Pocus. the most iconic witch costume, I think, of all time. Yeah, like, it's just, it's very sensible. <laughs> it is. Oh, my God. It's yeah. just very sensible. Absolutely. I would love to have that exact fit, even though she is a child and I am an adult, but, like, you get it. And, like, we can't forget um, Mean Girls. Oh, yeah. Iconic, Avi. Um what else? I love when Michael Myers dresses up as a ghost. I love I love when Charlie Brown yeah. fucks mm-hmm. up. He's like, I made too many holes. <laughs> and then... Yeah, it's like, how do you not get that, mama? Yeah, like, good on, grief. Honey. You know there's only two. <laughs> also, horrible ghost costume for fucking E.T. They could have just had him as E.T. He already looks like an alien. Period. They didn't need to dress him up. He could have just been a kid dressed up as... People would have thought he was fucking Yoda. People wouldn't know any better. For sure. It was the 80s. It was around the same time. People wouldn't have known. Or Alf or some shit. Yeah. Instead, they put a fucking towel over him. Um, let's see. What are some other good ones? Um, I will say, for any fans of Bob's Burgers, the kids on Bob's Burgers, they always have, like, the best, like, pun. Holly- or, like, Hollywood. Like, uh, Halloween costumes. Like, this year... Louise was Peter Pan's labyrinth, and so she was dressed up as Peter Pan and had the creepy uh, eyes on her hands. Um, There is another really funny one where Gene is both Turner and Hooch. Hmm. So he's, like, painted down the middle. Um, Tina is um, a sand witch. The rain is getting really intense The rain is getting really intense. Which is scary, because I have to drive home soon. (laughs) Oh, no, Morgan. Oh no! Boo. How about just some ghost tone for the, the last couple minutes of the pod? Well, we're not going to talk about when Ross dressed up as Sputnik on that Friends Halloween episode. 
25 years ago? I guess we can talk about it. I mean, I think the Friends reunion covered it enough. <laughs> yeah, they also had Justin Bieber so. dressed yeah, up as so it. So I guess bro. we don't need to do it here. Yeah. And like, it's really rainy. It's really raining. So and that's this really going to pick old. up on the end. But anyways, you guys, happy Halloween if you don't hear from us again. And if you do, happy I, Halloween. I hope you hear from <laughs> us again soon.